Well, it finished Germany 1, Omar 0 then. And someone who maybe have that answer oh. for you, Ali, that you are demanding is Archie Rintat, who uh, joins us now. Archie, looking at it, how close is the starting 11 that we saw today will be that to the one that will take on Japan next week? Lots of players missing, lots of key players missing. The central defensive pairing, I would imagine, will be Antonio Rudiger and Nicolas Zula, not Matthias Ginter and Tilo Kera. Tilo Kera, who has played the most minutes under Hansi Flick, I'd expect to start at right back as it stands, which I don't think is the most encouraging thing. I think the best option for Germany might be for Joshua Kimmich to suck it up and play there for them, but I expect oh. him to be installed very firmly at the heart of that midfield and then one of Leon Goretzka and Ilkay Gundogan to play. Then, of course, you've got the main man of the moment, Jamal Musiala. He has to play uh, right now, as, as is being said by many in Germany. Plus, I'd expect Kai Havertz to be probably playing in that number nine position, even if Niklas Volkrug did score today. Serge Nabry as well on top of that. So, yeah, some some key names missing, I would say, from, from that team. And I think it was mostly about trying to give some experience to someone like Yusuf Mukoko. That was his first cap today, hit the post as well at the end of the first half, along with just trying to get the wheels rolling again. Particularly playing in that kind of heat is not something that these players have done in a while, at least in, in Europe. So, yeah, I think that whilst it wasn't all that encouraging what, what Germany showed, I think that they can write this off as, well, at least you have this performance now from players who may not be involved all the time during the tournament rather than in that first game against Japan. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.